afternoon. It is wonderful that we can pause for prayer and for reflection. I welcome you and I'm happy that you have joined us on this day. We have created this time so that this kind of atmosphere so that you can worship. And I invite you to worship. I hope you are really not just watching but worshiping with us. So it is good to have you join us today, Friday in Easter week. And on the screen it says, thankful for the small things, the simple things of life. And I hope we begin this day with that grateful heart. Call to worship. Hallelujah. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. If you lift your net and it is empty, we'll cast it out again into Christ's abundance. If you do not recognize the Holy One, we'll find the risen Christ here among us. If your life is filled with mourning, Christ is leading a dance of joy. Today, we rise with the sun to give blessing and honor and glory to our Easter God. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Miraculous God, come to us now, even as your son came to those first disciples on the shores of Galilee. Speak your peace to our hearts. Touch us with your Holy Spirit. Reveal your word that we may hear your message this day and live as your disciples in the days and years to come. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. And now as our Savior has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And the collect for today, Friday in Easter week. Let us pray the collect together. Almighty Father, who gave your Son to die for our sins and to rise for our justification, give us grace so to put away the leaven of malice and wickedness, that we may always serve you in pureness of living and truth. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our scripture reading today is from the Gospel of John, chapter 21, verses 1 to 14. John 21, 1 to 14. A reading from the Gospel of John. After these things, Jesus showed himself again to the disciples by the Sea of Tiberias. And he showed himself in this way. Gathered there together were Simon Peter, Thomas called the twin, Nathaniel of Cana in Galilee, the sons of Zebedee, and two others of his disciples. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We will go with you. They went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. Just after daybreak, Jesus stood on the beach, but the disciples did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, you have no fish, have you? They answered him, No. He said to them, Cast the net to the right side of the boat, and you will find the sum. So they cast it, and now they were able to haul it in. They were not able to haul it in because there were so many fish. That disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. 
When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he put on some clothes, for he was naked, and jumped into the sea. But the other disciples came in the boat, dragging the net full of fish, for they were not far from the land, only about a hundred yards off. When they had gone ashore, they saw a charcoal fire there, with fish on it, and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish that you have just caught. So Simon Peter went aboard and hauled the net ashore, full of large fish, a hundred and fifty-three of them. And though there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come and have breakfast. Now none of the disciples dared, dared ask him, Who are you? because they knew it was the Lord. Jesus came and took the bread and gave it to them, and did the same with the fish. This was now the third time that Jesus appeared to the disciples after he was raised from the dead. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now for meditation. Do you have any fish? Do you have any fish? That's the third question for this week. But I woke up this morning to the bright rays of the sun. What a tremendous feeling. What a beautiful day. And I hear these words ringing in my ears. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. But when I saw the sun this morning, I felt I wanted to go back to work. I want to go back to a normal life. Not only that, I want to go to the beach. I am also ready for a barbecue. I feel like the day is too beautiful to do nothing with it. There were days when I feel like the walls were screaming at me and I was screaming back. I feel like I want, I want a normal life. Some days feel abnormal and fruitless, and I want to get on with business. The disciples in today's reading decided that they want to get on with business by going back to their normal life, what they knew best. So they went fishing but their fishing enterprise that day yielded nothing. Jesus knew that and waited on them. He knew that and he waited on them. He waited on the seashore of Tiberias. But later on, we are going to see that he also waited by making breakfast. He knew exactly what they were going through. But in order to take them from that place of emptiness, fruitlessness, guilt and shame, he asked them a very pertinent question. You don't have any fish, do you? In other words, do you have any fish? For which their answer was no. A fruitless time of fishing. That night of fishing left them with empty nets. Have you ever felt like some days you really get nothing right? Or really get nothing done? Like you work so hard with little or no results? It was not only their nets that were empty. Their hearts were empty too. 
they still haven't dealt with the crucifixion and their role of abandonment in all of it. And even with the stories and the experiences of the risen Christ, it was too good to be true. They were still puzzled. They wanted a normal life. So they went fishing to ease their minds. And so after their fruitless enterprise, Jesus said to them, Throw your nets on the right side. They did. They have come to realize that God is a God of opportunities. A God of possibilities. A God of second chances. And reminds us that failure really is not a measure of our worth, but only a chance for a new start. To get past emptiness and the failure, we have to keep working at it. It is not the time to give up. And that's what Jesus was saying to them. Throw your net on the other side. The catch was of great abundance. Friends, God knows our emptiness. And he knows how to take us from there. So Jesus invited them also to an abundant meal. It's not just an abundant catch, but an abundant meal. This is his invitation. Come and have breakfast. Breakfast is ready. Help yourself. I was reading something from Sacred Space around this text. And this is what it says, there is an abundant table ready, a table of fish, of food, of love, of warmth, of forgiveness, of second chances, and of great joy. Come and have breakfast. Their emptiness converted to abundance. We can be nourished by the abundant nutriments of God's word. And we can be warmed by the fire of God's companionship, God's work, God's forgiveness, and God's unconditional love in our lives. Do you feel empty? Here is Jesus' invitation. Come, breakfast is ready. Breakfast with Jesus, my friends. Jesus waits on you. Jesus waits for you. Come, have breakfast. Amen. Let us pray. The God of the bright and morning star, God of the rising sun, God of darkness banished, we praise and worship you for empty tombs, for disciples running with good news, for your presence alive, powerful, resurrected. We celebrate your victory over death, over all the powers that would defeat us. God of victory, rain down miracles in our lives. Help us to grasp resurrection, to understand its power, to see its forces at work in our world, overturning evil empires, changing the hatred within us, moving the world slowly, forcefully, bending us towards love and truth. God of victory, rain down miracles in our lives. 
empower us to be your ambassadors, proclaiming good news. Good news in our kitchens and living rooms. Good news in the offices and workshops. Good news in the fields and factories. Help us to be that good news. Walking softly on this good earth. Caring gently for all people. Living hopefully into your kingdom. God of victory. Rain down miracles in our lives. Today we think of all who are grieving. Especially those whose loved ones die lonely death. All the sick and dying. And all places in the world that are torn by war and bloodshed. God of victory. Rain down miracles in our lives. In this world of broken hopes and dreams, we catch sight of your kingdom come. Help us to listen closely to your word, even as you listen closely to our prayers. God of victory, rain down miracles in our lives. another blessing. May God bless the world in which you move and bless your home and bless your friends. May God bless the eyes with which you see and bless the ears with which you listen. May God bless the way you use your hands, bless the way you employ your tongue and may grace, mercy and peace be yours today and always. Amen. These are reminders for you. Noonday prayers continue each day. Sunday, April 19, we will live stream a service of at 10.30 a.m. And that service will be from the Book of Common Prayer. And at 12 noon, there will be a celebration of praise for young people and for children. And this is something very special that is coming. What Easter means to me. I've been asking a few parishioners to share this. And they will be sharing this on video. What Easter means. What Easter means to them. And uh, I did put out that field yesterday. If you would love to share. Please send me. Call me. Send me a text. Or call the office number. Or you may want to do by email, to my personal email or to the office email. Let us know that you want to do this. Um, we'll be happy to share that as well. And I think we will begin to share this tomorrow. What Easter means to me, coming from parishioners. And continue to share that we are on Facebook, we are on YouTube, and we are on the website. Um, with our daily worship. Again, stay safe, stay home, and in whatever ways you can, enjoy this most beautiful day. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.